everyone, it's Michelle Gilmartin here with A1 Document Sewing in Reno. Hey, today I thought I would just do a really quick reel and show you some of the fun stuff. Oops, my picture went away. That's on Art Spira. Um, that are free designs that you can send directly to your scan cut. So I put in gift box because I was kind of looking for something that would be for Thanksgiving or Christmas or um, Halloween and there's a bunch of them but I think I'd, I like this little pumpkin Thanksgiving box here. So as um, this was a free one. This is one of there's like 500 free cut files for your scan and cut on Art Spira and it's any wireless scan and cut. So even if you have like a CM650 CW, it's a non-auto blade. It was the last non-auto blade made before the auto blades came out. You can connect that to Art Spira because it is wireless. So I like this little Thanksgiving box. So when I pick my project, I looked under projects. When I pick my project, I can um, scroll through. There's a video of how to make my project, but here's my files that I need. So I'm just gonna touch the file and then um, it's gonna uh, open up on the create page. So then I select create. This is my 12 by 12 mat. Um, I'm gonna do done. And then I'm just going to make that transfer. Now you ma you must make sure that your um, scan and cut your your scan and cuts registered to your Canvas account. This is actually on Art Spira, but when you register Art Spira, you can just register with your Canvas login, and then everything's already there. So it makes it really pretty seamless. I I'm going to go ahead and select transfer. And it lets me know that transferring overwrites the data that's already stored in a temporary data pocket. So the machine has a temporary pocket where this goes to. Sometimes you can save it right into the machine. We're going to see. I'm going to say, OK, and let's make that transfer. Oh, look, the data transfer is complete. So let's come over to the scan and cut, select retrieve data and retrieve from the cloud. Oh, look. There's our file for our envelope, uh, not our envelope, our box. So, but it other has, other has another cut file. So I'm gonna see if I can save this part to the pocket of the machine. I don't think it's gonna let me export it because generally on the Artspira files, you don't have the option of exporting them like to a USB or to your computer or something. I'm just gonna save it in the memory for now. And I'll just go back to okay. So I'm going to go back to the preview, get out of that, go back, and now I'm going to get this one. So you see the blue boxes have the cut files. And you can tell it's a cut file because there's a little cutting machine there. I'm going to say, oops, yeah, I like those. That's going to be good. So I'm going to do create. Again, my mat shows up so I can see how big it's going to be. And then I don't want to add any additional text, so I'm done with this. I'm just going to simply transfer it all the way over to the machine. And the transfer is done. Let's see if it's under cut options. So under cut options, you can cut as is, meaning the design will be contained within one mat, but shown as separate colors. Or you can do by color. You can cut each color on a separate mat without changing the layout. So I, I just left it as it was. Um, and so we're done. Let's see what happens over here. Let me go to retrieve data, retrieve from the cloud. And here's my other pattern ready to cut. So I'm going to save this one too into the machine so that I can prep my um, standard tech mat and my papers to cut. I hope you enjoyed this. And here we go. Here's my cute little gift box, ready to gift cookies or candies or something like that. All done with my Scan and Cut and Art Spira. <laughs>